Welcome to Ascending Souls Journey. This is Lorianne, your psychic, and I am here to do your daily reading for Wednesday the 21st. Before I begin, I would like to ask all of you if you could take a moment in prayer and pray for a very good friend of mine has a loved one who is having surgery to, uh, today. Um, it is regarding the liver. If you could take a moment and say a prayer, maybe leave a comment in regard to that, I would greatly appreciate it. So we have two cards for love and two cards for career and finance and of course our romance angel card. First card we have for love is the magician card followed by the six of wands. The light, the light loves me. Some of you, there's a group of you where you actually have been working on your love life and you're trying to create the love life that you want. And this is a really good thing. This is what I talk about all the time, right? We all have the love life that we want. So if it's an icky love life, that's because that's what we are picking. But what I'm seeing, there's a group of you where you're actually going through looking at what kind of a person is it that I want? And I don't mean superficial, not their hair color, not the size, things like this. I'm talking about the inner person. What is it that I'm looking for in a partner? And you're also looking at what is it that I want in a relationship? You're actually creating the love life that you want. And yay, I'm so happy for you. And the six of wands is all about taking action. So you've gone through, you've done the work, you've made the list, this is what I'm looking for, I can accept this, I cannot tolerate this, I may be able to handle this. You've gone through to see what actually resonates with you. Now, you will know when somebody comes into your life on a relationship level, somebody you're dating, you will know if they fit the bill or not just in that first time that you meet with them. So we can't get the ultimate until we figure out what it is that brings us the ultimate. And here's the thing, you're gonna march forward very, very victoriously because you know exactly what you want. So that's this awesome, awesome, awesome. For another group of you, you may have been involved with somebody where there was a lot of toxicity, <clears throat> A lot of emotional manipulation was taking place in your relationship. You've decided, I don't want this. This isn't working for me. Now, you are not in the group I was just talking about as far as knowing what you want, but you definitely know you do not want this. You're going to, if you haven't already left, you're getting ready to take action to leave. And the universe is saying yes this is the right thing to do because this person that you're dealing with, what I'm seeing, they're not gonna change. No matter what you say or do, they are who they are and they have no desire to make any changes, uh, to grow, to heal, anything. They're just exactly who they are. So who you're seeing is who it's gonna be. How it is is exactly how it's gonna be. So by taking action, in your love life and no i do not promote people to leave their partner but when it's a toxic relationship and this is a toxic relationship leaving is the right thing for this particular group of you to do so let's see how the romance angel ties in with this reading It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yeah, so this completely ties in actually with both scenarios. So the person, the group where you figured out what you want and you're gonna move forward, you know what you want, it is safe for you to love. And you've really embraced that. It's like, I see that you've done all the healing. You've really analyzed it and put it all in perspective. That's how you are gonna be able to feel very victorious as you move forward. And you know it's safe to love. You outright know this. And for the other, well, you know it's safe to love. And maybe being where you're at is not feeling safe to you. So by moving forward, 
is all about self-love and that is truly what matters in this situation. Now when it comes to career and finance, and of course I'll relate it to love, we have the Tower card followed by the Six of Pentacles. So the Tower card is, this is something handed down from the universe where the, you know, God says, okay, you didn't get the message this time, I'm gonna do this, all right? Creates a scenario, a situation where it, it turns things around. Now this can be a minor change, it can be a major change, it can be a change in belief system. And the Six of Pentacles is all about reciprocity. It's about one person giving more than the other person is giving. And what this is saying is for the group of you where there was a lot of toxicity going on, you may have recently found out that there was another person involved. They may have had somebody else on the side um, and you may just be suspecting it because you're putting more into the relationship than they are. But this is saying, hey, this is gonna take place. This Six of Pentacles isn't meant for you. It is time for you to move forward very victoriously. And again, the person where I'm saying, the group of you, there was emotional manipulation going on in this relationship. And they do have things that are hidden. The tower could be you leaving. It could be you finding out a secret. It could be anything but it is you moving forward, taking action in your life to go the direction that resonates with you because you want to love in a safe environment. It really is safe to love. Now, when it comes to career and finance, there's a group of you where <clears throat> you actually have been working on an idea. You've been in, in this, I think, may even resonate with something to do last week. Remember, this is a seven day period of time. So you can go back through the last seven days and see if this resonates and ties in with this reading, of course. But a tower is taking place. This is a change. So if you were afraid to move forward in this, this venture, they're actually saying, yeah, it's the right time because everything you put out you weren't getting back, but now, now making the change and taking the action to take your creative abilities and to take your idea and put it forward out there, it is gonna pay off for you. It is gonna come back. There's another group of you where you may have made some financial investment that you thought, they're showing me that you thought it was a disaster, like maybe it plummeted down, okay, this investment, but you haven't pulled your money out. And what they're showing me is, because you didn't pull your money out right away, like most people do, you know, before they lose everything, you didn't, you waited, and now it's going up. And because you waited, you actually are gonna get a return. It's gonna go up and you'll be able to sell it, at least break even, if not, what I'm seeing is actually more money. So that's actually very, very good. And you will feel very victorious in doing this. It's like you made a mistake by not pulling your money out, what little you had left, but it's actually gonna come back around to you in a positive way. So I do hope that you guys have a wonderful day please send out a prayer to JD. He is having surgery today and on the 21st, and we wish him to have a successful and speedy recovery. Much love to each of you.